Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Karina, living Lean Six Sigma or living L6S. We're on part 13 of airframe test questions. Our next section we're gonna be working is called cabin atmosphere control systems. Question, which section of a turbine engine provides high pressure bleed air to an air cycle machine for pressure, pressurization and air conditioning? Answer, low or high pressure compressor. Question, at which component in an air cycle cooling system does air undergo a pressure and temperature drop? Answer, expansion turbine. Question, in a freon vapor cycle cooling system, where is a cooling air obtained for the condenser? Answer, ambient air. Note, the air that passes through the condenser coil is ambient or outside air, and it moves the heat from the heated and pressurized refrigerant. The loss of the heat causes the refrigerant to condense from vapor into a liquid. Question, what is ventilating air used for on a combustion heater? Answer, carries heat to the places where needed. Question, turbine engine air used for air conditioning and pressurization is generally called, answer, bleed air. Question, in the combustion heater, combustion air system, what prevents too much air from entering the heaters as air pressure increases? Answer, either a combustion air relief valve or a differential pressure regulator. Question, how is the cabin pressure of an aircraft maintained in flight? Answer, by controlling the rate of the airflow out of the cabin. Question, what controls the op operation of the cabin pressure regulator? Answer, cabin altitude. Question, the basic air cycle cooling system consists of, answer, a source of compressed air, heat exchangers, and a turbine. Question, the purpose of the dump valve in a pressurized aircraft is to relieve, answer, uh, all positive pressure from the cabin. Question, what component might possibly be damaged if liquid refrigerant is introduced? into the low side of a vapor cycle cooling system when the pressure is too high or the outside temperature is too low? <laughs> Answer, compressor. The compressor can possibly be damaged. Question, how can it be determined that a vapor cycle cooling system is charged with the proper amount of Freon? Answer, air bubbles in the sight glass disappear. Question, when charging a vapor cycle cooling system after evacuation, the low pressure gauge fails to come out of a vacuum. What is indicated? Answer, blockage in the system. Question, what component in a vapor cycle cooling system would most likely be at fault if a system would not take a Freon charge? Answer, expansion valve. Question, frost or ice buildup on a vapor cycle cooling system evaporator would most likely be caused by, answer, inadequate airflow through the evaporator. Question, what test is used to determine the serviceability of an oxygen cylinder? Answer, pressure test with water with water this is a trick question they're going to throw other other things at you pressure is tested with water question how often should standard weight high pressure oxygen cylinders be hydrostatically hydro water hydrostatically tested answer every five years 
This is also a trick question because note, lightweight cylinders must be hydrostatically tested every three years. So this is standard weight oxygen cylinder, not a lightweight cylinder. Question, to be eligible for recharging, a DOT3HT oxygen cylinder must have been hydrostatically tested every three years and be retired from service after, answer, 24 years or 4,380 filling cycles. Note, your, your answer can be found in AC 43.13-1B on page 9-41. Question, what type of oxygen system uses the rebreather bag type mask? Answer, continuous flow. Question, the component that determines the pressure level in a cabin is the cabin air pressure. Answer, outflow valve. <clears throat> Question, hot compressor bleed air operates the conditioned air system on some turbine aircraft. Cold air supplied by the, answer, air cycle air conditioning. Note, cold air is supplied for the air conditioning system in some turbine engine powered aircraft by an air cycle cooling system. A hot compressor bleed air loses some of its heat energy as it flows through a primary heat exchanger, right? Exchanging heat. The slightly cooled air then flows into the air cycle machine where it's compressed and its temperature and pressure are both increased. This heated air then passes through a secondary heat exchanger where it gives up some of its heat energy again, and then it flows into the air cycle expansion turbine. Here it uses up a large amount of its heat energy in driving the compressor. The air expands as it leaves the turbine and becomes cold. Question, for some, you, sorry, I'm chewing. <laughs> All right, for, question, for use in pressurized aircraft, which is generally the least complicated and requires the least maintenance? Answer, chemical oxygen generator system. This one's a trick question. The least maintenance, the least complicated is the chemical oxygen generator system. Question, what is the main cause of contamination in a gaseous, gaseous? gaseous gaseous <laughs> what is the main cause of contamination in a gaseous oxygen system answer moisture question where does the last stage of cooling in an air cycle air conditioning system occur answer expansion turbine question the point at which freon flowing through a vapor cycle cooling system gives up heat and exchanges from a gas to a liquid is answer is the condenser question the point at which freon flowing through a vapor cycle cooling system absorbs heat and changes from a liquid to a gas is the answer evaporator Question, how is the cabin pressure of a pressurized aircraft usually controlled? Answer, by an automatic outflow valve that dumps all the pressure in excess of the amount for which it is set. This is a trick question. When it meets a set pressure, then it dumps it. Question, which is considered a good practice concerning the inspection of heating and exhaust systems of aircraft utilizing a jacket around the engine exhaust as a heat source? Answer, supplement physical inspections with periodic operational carbon monoxide detection tests. Okay, question. 
On some cabin pressurization systems, pressurization on the ground is restricted by the answer, main landing gear operated switch. Note, when a pressurized aircraft is on ground, kind of like weight on wheels, pressure switch, the safety dump valve is held open by vacuum controlled by a vacuum controlled dump solenoid which is actually through the landing gear safety or squat switch. Question. The function of the evaporator in a Freon cooling system is to answer lower the temperature of the cabin air. Question. What is the purpose of a mixing valve in a compressor bleed air air conditioning system? Answer. Control the supply of hot, cool, and cold air. Question. What component of a pressurization system prevents the cabin altitude from becoming higher than airplane altitude? Cabin altitude versus airplane altitude. Answer. Cabin rate of descent control. No, all pressurized aircraft require some form of negative pressure relief valve. This valve may be incorporated into the outflow valve or may be a separate unit. Question. If the liquid level gauge in a vapor cycle cooling system indicates a low freon charge, the system should answer be operated for a period of time to reach a stable condition and then the Freon level rechecked? This is another trick question. Question, if the cabin rate of climb is too great, the control should be adjusted to cause the answer, outflow valve to close faster. Question, the position of a thermostatic expansion valve in a vapor cycle cooling system is determined by temperature and pressure of the answer freon in the outlet of the evaporator. Question. The function of the condenser in a freon cooling system is to answer transfer heat from the freon gas to ambient air. Question. The function of an expansion valve in a Freon cooling system is to act as a metering device and to answer, reduce the pressure of the liquid Freon. Trick question. Question. Which prevents a sudden loss of pressurization in the event that there is a loss of the pres pressurization source? Answer. Delivery air duct check valve. Question. When servicing an air conditioning system that has lost all of its Freon, it is necessary to answer, check oil and add as necessary, evacuate the system and add Freon. Question. The primary function of the cabin pressurization system outflow valve is to Answer, maintain the desired cabin pressure. This one's another trick question. Question, one purpose of a jet pump in a pressurization and air conditioning system is to answer, provide for augmentation of airflow in some areas of the aircraft. Question, after cleaning or replacing the filtering element in a combustion heater fuel system, the system should be pressurized and answer all connections checked for leaks. Question. The operation of an aircraft's combustion heater is usually controlled by a thermostat circuit which answer alternately turns the fuel on and off a process known as cycling. Question. The air cycle cooling system produces air co cold air by Answer, extracting heat energy across an expansion turbine. Trick question. 
Question. Refer to this image. Determine what unit is located immediately downstream of the expansion valve in a Freon refrigeration system. Feel free to pause the, the camera or the video. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Downstream of the expansion valve in a Freon refrigeration system. Answer, the evaporator coils. Question, what does a steady stream of bubbles indicate when servicing a vapor cycle air conditioning system? Answer, the system is undercharged. Question, an aircraft pressurization cycle is normally considered to be, answer, one complete series of events or operations that recur regularly. Question, which best describes cabin differential pressure? Answer, difference between the ambient, outside air, and internal air pressure. Question, composite oxygen bottles that conform to the DOT-E-8162 have a service life of, answer, 15 years or 10,000 filling cycles, whichever occurs first. 15, 10, okay. Question, the cabin pressurization modes of operation are, answer, differential, unpressurized, and isobaric. This is a trick question. True, false, one and two. Number one, usually bleed air from a gas turbine engine compressor can be safely used for cabin pressure. On, and uh, number two, independent cabin condition air machines, air cycle machines can be powered by bleed air from an aircraft turbine engine compressor. Answer, both are true. Question, a pressurization controller uses, answer, barometric pressure, cabin altitude, and cabin rate of change. Trick question. Question, what unit in a vapor cycle cooling system serves as a reservoir for the refrigerant? Answer, receiver dryer. Question, what is the condition of the refrigerant as it enters the condenser of a vapor cycle cooling system? Answer, high pressure vapor. Question, what is the condition of the refrigerant as it enters the evaporator of a vapor cycle cooling system? Answer, low pressure liquid. Question, the evacuation of a vapor cycle cooling system removes any water that may be present by, answer, lowering the boiling point of the water and drawing out the vapor? Trick question. Question, what is the condition of the refrigerant as it leaves the evaporator of a vapor cycle cooling system? Answer, low pressure vapor. Question, what is the condition of the refrigerant as it leaves the condenser of a vapor cycle cooling system? Answer, high pressure liquid. Question, in what position should the bottle be placed when adding liquid freon to a vapor cycle cooling system? Answer, vertical with the outlet at the bottom. Question, when purging a Freon air conditioning system, it is important to release the charge at a slow rate. 
What is the reason for the slow rate discharge? Answer, it prevents excessive loss of refrigerant oil. Question, when a vapor cycle cooling system is not in operation, what is an indication that the system is leaking freon? Answer, oil seepage. Question, in an operating vapor cycle cooling system, if the two lines connected to the expansion valve are essentially the same temperature, what does this indicate? Answer, the expansion valve is not metering Freon properly. Note, as Freon passes through the expansion valve, it changes from high pressure liquid into a low pressure liquid. This drop in pressure causes a drop in temperature. If the valve is not metering as it should, there will be no pressure drop and therefore no temperature drop. Question, the purpose of a subcooler in a vapor cycle cooling system is to answer, cool the Freon to prevent premature vaporization. Note, this premature vaporization, also called flash off, is prevented. Next question, true or false? Number one, a small amount of water in a vapor cycle cooling system can freeze in the receiver dryer and stop the entire system operation. Number two, true or false? Water in a vapor cycle cooling system will react with refrigerant to form hydrochloric acid which is highly corrosive to the metal in the system. Answer, only number two is true. Number one is false. Note, a small amount of water in a vapor cycle cooling system can freeze and stop the entire system operation, but it will freeze in the expansion valve, not in the receiver dryer. Question, when a refrigerant dash 12 is passed over an open flame, it, answer, changes to phosgen gas, P-H-O-S-G-E-N-E, -E. phosgen gas, phosgen, phosgen gas. Uh, question, what type of oil is suitable for using, sorry, to use or for use in a vapor cycle cooling system? Answer, special high grade refrigerant oil. Question, when an aircraft's oxygen system has developed a leak, the lines and fittings should be, answer, bubble tested with a special soap solution manufactured specifically for this purpose. Question, if oxygen bottle pressure is allowed to drop below a specified minimum, it may cause a, answer, moisture to collect in the bottom. Question, what controls the amount of oxygen delivered to a mask in a continuous flow oxygen system? Answer, calibrated orifice. Question, when does the diluter demand regulator operate? Answer, when the user inhales. Question, the primary difference between aviation breathing oxygen and the other types of commercially available compressed oxygen is that? Answer, aviation bre breathing oxygen has had all weather vapor removed. Question, what is used in some oxygen systems to change high cylinder pressure to low system pressure? Answer, pressure reducer valve. Question, in a high pressure oxygen system, if the pressure reducer fails, what prevents high pressure oxygen from entering the system downstream? Answer, pressure relief valve. Question, high pressure cylinders containing oxygen for aviation use can be identified by their, answer, green color and the word aviators breathing oxygen, 
stenciled in one inch white letters. Question, refer to the figure. This is a graph. One hour after an oxygen system was charged for a leakage check, the oxygen pressure gauge reads 460 PSI. And this is at 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Six hours later, the temperature was 51 degrees Fahrenheit. A five PSI change is the maximum allowable in a six hour period. What pressure gauge readings would be acceptable to remain within the allowable limits? Answer, 445 to 450 PSI. Here's the graph, pause the video. Note, the pressure at the beginning of the leak test is 460 PSI and the temperature drops 12 degrees Fahrenheit. According to the curve, a 12 degree drop will cause a pressure change of 10 PSI. The pressure in the system with no leakage would be 450 PSI. So the pressure is allowed to drop only five, therefore the lower pressure allowed in the system will be 445. Question. An aircraft oxygen bottle may be considered airworthy if it has been hydrostatically tested and identified. Answer, with the test date, DOT number and serial number stamped on the cylinder near the neck. This one's a trick question. Question, in a gaseous oxygen system, which of the following are vented to blow out plugs in a fuselage skin? Answer, pressure relief valve. Question, what is the purpose of pressurizing the aircraft cabin? Answer, to make human flight possible in the hostile environments of the upper atmosphere. Note, hypoxia. Next question, true or false? Number one, oxygen used in aircraft system is at least 99.5% pure and is practically water free. Number two, true or false? Oxygen is used in aircraft system is 99.5% pure and is hospital quality. Which ones are true and which ones are false? Number one is true and number two is false. Oxygen in the aircraft system is 99.5% pure, but is not the same as hospital quality oxygen. Hospital quality oxygen contain more water vapors than is allowed in aviators breathing oxygen. Question, oxygen systems in unpressurized aircraft are generally of the Answer, continuous flow and pressure demand types. Question, the purpose of the airflow metering aneroids assembly found in oxygen diluter demand regulators is to answer, regulate airflow in relation to cabin altitude when in diluter demand position. That one's a trick question. Question, if a high pressure oxygen cylinder is to be installed in an airplane, it must meet the specifications of the, answer, Department of Transportation, DOT. Question, before a high pressure oxygen cylinder is serviced, it must be the correct type and have been, answer, hydrostatically tested within the proper time interval. Note, DOT3AA oxygen cylinders must be hydrostatically tested to five thirds of their nominal working pressure every five years and the DOT3HT hotel tango cylinders must be tested in the same way every three years. Question, a contaminated oxygen system is normally purged with, answer, oxygen. Question, how should you determine the amount of oxygen in a portable high pressure cylinder? 
Answer, read the pressure gauge mounted on the cylinder. Question, what may be used as a lubrication on oxygen system tapered pipe thread connections? Answer, Teflon tape. Note, the only thread lubricant approved for use on tapered pipe thread connections in an aircraft oxygen system is MIL-T as in Tango-5542 oxygen compatible thread lubricant. Teflon tape is applied to the male threads and can be used in place of a thread lubricant. Question. On transport category aircraft, what might be an indication of an overpressure event on the aircraft oxygen system? Answer, the green thermal expansion disc is missing. Question, which of the following are characteristics of a chemical or solid state oxygen system? Answer, a volume storage capacity about three times that of a compressed oxygen and the system generators are inert below 400 degrees Fahrenheit even under severe impact. It's only those two things on the, out of the options. Note, once a chemical or solid state oxygen system is initiated, it releases oxygen at a predetermined rate, which is not adjustable according to demand. On a volume base, the storage capacity of oxygen in candles is about three times that of compressed gas. The generators of a chemical oxygen system are inert below 400 degrees Fahrenheit, even under severe impact. The distribution and regulation system is self-contained. It consists of a stainless steel cylinder attached to the manifold hose nipples. The nipples contain orifices just like just small enough to ensure essentially equal flow to all masts. All right, folks. Thank you for watching episode 13 or part 13. This was cabin atmosphere control systems. The next video will have aircraft instrument systems. Thanks so much, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.